Let's do a little walk around on this uh, Saab. I think it's a, what they call a nine. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle. All right, y'all. We are at Odessa Dealer Only Auction, you guys. And it is time for us to find us some cars to buy, man. So I am going to be doing a rundown, walk around, test drive, all that good stuff, you guys. If you are new to the channel, um, if everybody already knows the spiel, man. If you are new to the channel, old to the channel, at any point in this video you like anything, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for your boy. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. When you click the notification bell, man, make sure you click the all button. That way you know every single time that your boy posts something. And then do not forget, you guys, to go ahead and follow me on all the social media platforms. Check out the links in the description below. You can get the list to all the tools that I use, my code reader, jump packs, all that stuff. And you can get some free stocks and a whole bunch of other stuff. But let's jump into these cars, you guys. See what we like here. They got a little, I ain't gonna rock with that one because I already know what they're gonna do. That's expensive. Um, but I do see a Chevy Equinox right here, which we're gonna rock with. Um, who's selling this? Universal credit acceptance. So more than likely, this is a repo. So let's see if she starts up. Start it up, 132,000 miles. Most definitely gonna end up letting her run, you guys. Let me see, my bad. Raise this window up, see if this window in the back. Yep, that raised up. Make sure all these windows work, boom. That one worked. What? That's weird. Oh, there we go. That one worked. Right. Does this one work? Yep, that one worked. Radio work? Yep, that worked. It's most definitely cold in here. So, yeah, somebody was out here. They got their list. Oh, no, that's from Man. No, that's from here. Huh. Yeah. So, Lee, that started up for a second. This thing's got, let me see if it's, I think all. Uh, Second, look at this motor. My bad, y'all. Looking crazy. This dang thing on my neck. Let me see. 3,400 for sure in here. Yep. Coolant is a little low, not all the way low, which is good. Got a little seepage right there. Probably a little valve cover leak. So I'm gonna let that just run a little bit and see what else they got over here, you guys. Toyota uh, Corolla. It's looking like. That's got low miles, so we're not gonna mess with that one. What is this thing? Oh, Chevy Cruze. I've been seeing these go pretty low lately. I wonder how many miles is on it. Oh, that's 26,000 miles. Um, ain't nothing down there that I was interested in, so I guess we're just gonna hop in this Equinox. That's most definitely a nice, nice Ram, man. With the, oh, 6.4 liter? Hold on, what is this? Exactly, I might be just a power wagon i've never really encountered one of these i don't know too much about them but obviously it's got that uh 6.4 liter motor in there it's not the 6.2 with the supercharged but pretty dang decent i'm gonna open this up for y'all see what she's doing it's a power wagon i know a lot of y'all know more about that than me let me get y'all start up y'all i know y'all like this type of stuff but we got that equinox i'm running Let's see if it starts up See, me personally, though, if I get any type of, like, like a TRX, any pickup truck, when it, obviously, you didn't hear nothing that sounded really amazing with that. But if I get, like, anything, like, with a Hemi, it's a pickup truck, I'm throwing some exhaust on there because I got to get that rumble. That's just me. But anyways, we got to get to this money, y'all. So we don't have that much time. So let's uh, just jump into this thing, man. Pull it out. Let's see what this baby do. I'm already hearing, like, a little rear right clunk, you guys. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Yeah, it's most definitely. I gotta check underneath there because I hope it's not like poking through the wheel, the wheel well. Let's see. Shift it once. We have 50, 60. Yeah, this thing doing pretty dang good. It's got just got that seems like it just got that little rear clunk obviously i want to make sure this thing don't overheat y'all if y'all know about the 3400 motors it's like one of the most terrible motors um if not the worst the worst uh motor gm has ever built 
um, in between the 3100 and the 3400. Um, I don't know which one's worse. Uh, maybe, you know what? I want to go ahead and just say the 3100 worse. I do want to say that. Yeah, that thing is clunking like crazy. So we want to make sure we put this thing through the ringer. Let's see what we got. 50. All right. I'm at 70 now, y'all. Oh yeah, this is this is what's up, y'all. Um, I'm gonna check out that rear strut, and then uh, even if it's even if it's bad, I'm pretty sure they they sell repair kits. So um, as far as like if it goes through the wheel well, like how do they do the, the Ford Escapes? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my list. Okay, y'all, we keeping it moving and grooving. That's a nice little whatever the heck. I don't even know what that is, man. For me being a car dealer, y'all, I don't know nothing about like these special type of cars. What is this? A Texas edition? What? I don't know what the heck this is, y'all. Comment below, let me know. Them rims is like off the chain, though. I love that. I don't know what the hell this is, y'all. A Sierra? Maybe? Comment below, let me know. I don't know. So y'all know I ain't gonna lie to you. I know what these are. These are Trailblazers. <laughs> I know what everything is that I would uh, actually spend some money on. Looking for some cars, y'all. Hold on. We gotta go to the. Let me go to the front of these cars because I don't even know what lane this is. They just switched everything around too, y'all. So, what lane this is? Oh, this is actually D lane. So, that might actually be a big dealer selling that. So, I should probably look at these trip going in the circles, y'all. Hold on. Let me see where this trailblazer came from. That came from Sing Towing. That's a small dealer, and I don't want to rock with them. And I don't think they do repos. They actually are like a repair shop. Uh, nah, this don't say who that's from. I don't rock with Blazers no more. There's a Volvo XC90. Who's selling this? I don't know. I gotta see who's selling these cars, y'all. Let me uh go down here though first. They got a town and country right here. Who's selling this one? They don't have the sellers on here today, which is a little odd. Another trailblazer. See, see, that's not a big dealer. To all the new people, the reason why I don't buy from small dealers is because they like to hide their issues and run their problems through the auction um, instead of selling to the public. So that's why I like to stay away from them because it's been plenty of times where I didn't bought something with a messed up transmission out of here and you don't know until you get it to the shop. So um, let's see what we got. Saturn View, I'm pretty sure this is one of the bigger dealers. I saw this online last night. Yeah, it's the Saturn View. Start this thing up. Look at that. What is that? I've never seen nothing like that. That's, uh looks like it's just, oh, uh, they try to like uh, glue it together, which is weird. What's that? Oh, I think this is for somebody that's like paraplegic. Yeah, it is. Y'all see that? So when you, cause my boy, his brother has one of these, but his is not as sturdy as this. He needed to actually look into this cause the one he got is kind of like scary as heck. Start this up. So this thing could be like, that just kind of shows me that this thing might be super well taken care of. So let that run, it's got that little wrench on there. Them things always come on for oil changes on these little Saturn views. It's nice interior and everything. 124,000 miles. Looks like it's a front wheel drive. It doesn't have that all wheel drive badge on it, but it's a decent car. So that's gonna be one we are gonna mess with. Not messing with that one. Not gonna mess with this one. It's a nice little sob. It's got 130,000 miles. Let me see if it's a uh, standard or, okay. So this is a uh, five speed, I mean, not a five speed, an automatic. Start this thing, where's the key at? Oh, right here. Okay, she started up. Nice interior, so that's gonna be one I'm gonna mess with. So just so y'all know, I used to buy a lot of sobs, a lot of Volvos and a lot of, um, 
Audis. Like when I say a lot, I mean I like specialized in it for about a year and a half. And I made a lot of money, but it was also a big headache, especially when it came to, came to these uh, sobs. These parts are very, very expensive, even for the old ones, like crazy expensive. So I usually don't buy them if they have problems because um, it can turn into a nightmare. Uh, CRV, I'm actually gonna mess with the CRV today. I know I usually like to stay clear of these because they go high, but um, I'm gonna mess with this one today. Uh, looks like I need to jump, come back and jump that. Uh, I got a Honda Pilot over here, um, 180,000 miles. So I'm gonna leave that one alone because that's gonna be expensive out here. They got a Volkswagen Passat. I saw this one online. This one's got 162. That's a standard transmission, so I'm gonna leave that one alone. They do have this A4 over here. I'm rocking with the A4 for sure. As long as it's an automatic. It is an automatic, so that's good. Start this joint up. Smells a little foul in here. Start it up. Let's see. Check the body out. The body seems to be pretty decent. That's a Quattro for sure uh these are newer cars and that's something i won't be buying that's something i won't be buying uh what well, am i no one night 195 so this is something that i would try to attempt to um this is a toyota camera you guys Let's see if she starts all right this one's gonna need to jump too so we're gonna leave the ones alone that need to jump for now and start over here so which one did we start up first i forgot the view so go over here to the saturn view oh they do got this a little launcher though let me see it's got 112,000 miles these kind of sell pretty good if you ask me i think i'm gonna mess with this one too y'all this might be one of the ones that i yeah i think i'm gonna mess with that one uh, hold on hold on hold on i don't want to get copyrighted all right back over here y'all we haven't got to the fun yet we getting to the fun, y'all, so bear with me. We got a process. Now we finna start driving like crazy. All right. Boom. The window's working. That one's working. Boom. Boom. All right, that works. Oh, AC most definitely working. All right, that's good. I'm kind of scared with this little thing. I'm gonna have to be careful. Let me put my seatbelt on you right now. They got an X5 right here. I wonder who's selling that. I don't know. Hey, comment below. Let me know what y'all think about the BMW trucks, like the uh, 07s to 09s, um, like the BMW X5, X3s. I see, I tend to, find, like my boy, so Tremaine, y'all know Tremaine, um, he has bought mm, two or three trucks and every single last one of them eventually has problems. Like he can have them for like two, three months, but then all of a sudden, like something just crazy happens with him. So I've been steering away from them just uh watching how much struggle he has with them y'all comment below let me know what y'all think about um the bmw trucks and everything all right let's see what she talking about yeah that's most definitely a front wheel drive and it's got some power to her okay 55 60 65 70 hold on man i think this dang hood yeah i think that hood's open hold on y'all i ain't gonna be able to speed up like that all right so yeah that hood was open for sure so luckily i saw that all right one more time for the one time see what she do driving pretty dang good man yeah i'm gonna put this one on the list y'all let's move on to the next one i don't know why they leaving all these hoods open but whatever let's do a little walk around on this uh sob i think it's a, what they call a 9.3 i don't I, yeah i'm pretty sure this is a 9.3 arrow wagon or whatever yeah it's a 9.3 for sure so let's get in here see what this thing talking about AC is, oh my God, it's cold in here, y'all. Oh, let me cut this thing off. Ridiculous. Let me cut this thing off. Uh, 
And the fan. Cut that thing off. Ridiculously cold. All right, cut this off. All right, that's cool. This power steering is, ah, uh, might just be the way it handles. Haven't been in one of these in a while. That window's working. Man, these windows are terrible, man. Like, if you gotta fix one of these, man, it's a headache. You gotta take off the whole door skin, of course, but then it becomes, it's a whole assembly. It's not, oh, there we go. Sunroof is cool. It's not just like you can just throw a regulator in there. It's like a whole assembly, y'all. Um, let's see. There we go. And here in Minnesota, if you want to get a used one, it's like really only one salvage yard that really be having these. And it's like, I think an hour away. I'm feeling like a little misfire. I'm not scared of a misfire on a sob, but it's no check engine light. I'm most definitely going to check, check the codes. See what she do. All right, front brakes are like grinding a little bit. That might be because it rained, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, still doing it. Just gotta make sure this turbo works too. Let's see. Hearing a little bit of clunk, but not really. So that could be just like a little ball joint or something. Okay. Oh yeah, turbo most definitely working on this joint. I got all the power. And this is why I love these sobs though. This is why I love them. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm at 80 right now, y'all. This thing is moving, moving. These little turbos in here, man, be off the chain, man. Um, but yeah, this one is like one of the ones like, you could fix that little clunk. It's not really, really like a loud clunk. It's just like a little minor clunk. Um, so you really could take this one and just sell it. You know what I'm saying? Um, obviously you just want to let them know like, Hey, it's got a little clunk, but a lot of people like a clunk like that is like, Oh, okay. That's nothing. And then you just leave a little room in there so they can uh, negotiate the price down. You see, but everybody sells different, man. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Make sure she's still doing what she needs to do. All right, we ain't gonna go fast. We're gonna go slow. Make sure the gears is working. Okay, shift it once. Twice. Three. Overdrive, all right, yeah. All right, yeah, so this is, this is a go, man. I'm gonna put this one on the list too. Okay, I'm gonna move on over to the A4, you guys, since it's already running. Shut that. Uh, what did I wanna see? I wanted to turn, make sure we got the body looking like I thought it was. Them tires look brand new, that's real good. The rims ain't too good, but like I said, it is a Quattro. You can kinda tell by the body. So, see what the interior looks like. The interior looks to be pretty good too. AC is cold too in here, so that's good. Uh, let me cut this thing off. Cut that off. Cut this off. Obviously that radio works. Make sure this window works. This one too. All right, let's see. And y'all know what, I'm tripping actually, y'all. Let me, I wanna make sure that these valve covers and stuff ain't leaking. Hold on. Can't get lazy, man. It's the one thing about this game. And this is a 3.0, which is, some people like the 3.0, some people don't. In the Quattro. Uh, about to get dirty again. Uh, I don't see nothing, no leakage down there. So, it looks to be pretty cool. Let's see. So, so far, so good. Let's put it in reverse. Did I? Yeah, I checked the sunroof. All right, let's see. Pull this out. There's some cars over here that I want to drive, but I don't know if they're going to have it out. 
You see that Volvo S40 over there, y'all? Or S60, actually? I want to mess with that. Um, that's pretty much the only one over there. And maybe that little GTI. That would be cool, but we'll see. Okay. I'm driving one of my favorite cars in the world, if y'all did not know. Audi A4. They never get tired into me. Alright. So it's a 3.0. Okay. I'm getting a little wobble in the tire. Chaney's doing what it's supposed to do, and just doing what she's supposed to do. Alright, so let me step on these brakes. Uh alright, I feel still feel good. I don't know if it's that's the it's gotta be the tires probably need to be balanced or something. Suspension is good though. It's doing what it's supposed to do for sure. They got some product out there today, y'all. Usually, this we be driving them in. We'd be 0 for 15 by now. So, this is exciting. Which means the prices are going to be up tomorrow for sure. Because if I can see that these cars don't really need nothing, then the next dealer is too. Let's see. Yeah, this thing is cool, man. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the list too, y'all. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, y'all, so this is the Honda CRV, and as you can see right here, let me put this compact down. Um, this cap broke off in there, which I don't know if it's gonna be an easy thing to get out or not, but I'm not gonna try to deal with that problem because that could be a big problem, maybe, maybe not, but I never dealt with anything like that, so I'm not even gonna play around with it, so. Um, Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got this other car over here that needs to jump. I forgot which one it was. Let me see. Wasn't those. I know it was a car. Oh, yeah, this Camry over here. This is going to be the last one. It looks like we're going to drive. Um, we're going to go check. I might go check out some of the newer cars, you guys, to see if they got anything that I like over there. Um, and, oh, I want to give y'all a little update, man. Oh dang! Look at that. Oh, that. Well, that's valve cover gaskets, though. Damn. Oh damn! Look how caked up that is, though. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of. I mean, it looks like it's just coming from the valve covers, but I don't know, y'all. I don't know. It's a little scary. I'm not gonna lie to you. But it's not, is it? Let's see. It can't be nothing too major. Let's start it up at least, y'all. It deserves that. Put that jump pack on there. Uh, nope, it's five speed. Tweezy up in here. Um, that's my brother for y'all that don't know. So, start this thing up. Hold that down. Boom. Now she ready to start up. Man, I love that little jump pack. I know y'all remember me saying I hate it, but I love that little thing. Start it up. Not a bad sound. 195,000 miles on it. Cut that off. Let's check this body one more time. Tires seem to be decent. I'll probably end up changing them wheels out. They just look terrible to me. I don't know why they picked those ones of all of them, but... I think that's just the valve cover gaskets. I mean, you could do the valve cover gaskets and then end up cleaning it out and then letting it run for a couple hours to see if anything else is leaking. But usually when it's just coming from the front like that, it's just the valve cover gaskets. Just whoever had it just didn't care and they kept driving it. All right, that's good. AC seems to be okay. Let's see if this radio comes on. All right, radio is on, so that's good. Reverse is working. That's good as well. Out there, no. I think they got a newer Volvo S80 out there. Back there, y'all. Got to go take a little drive past there. Let's see. All right. This thing still got. Man, this is why I love Toyotas, man. You can drive it 195,000 miles, and this thing, these things still move solid, man. 
I got another question for y'all. Do y'all like Honda or Toyota better? Let me know. Let's just let's just make it even. Honda Civic versus uh, Toyota Camry. Not Honda Civic, my bad. Honda Civic versus uh, Toyota Corolla, and then um, Honda Accord versus uh, Toyota Camry. Let me know which one would you pick. Comment below, man. And don't be that guy that don't like commenting. Comment below, let me know, man. But uh, this thing seems to be driving pretty dang good, man. So I would be most definitely cool with risking this one, for sure. Not too much go wrong with these uh, Toyotas, man. I don't know a lot to you. Let's see. Might need a little alignment. Might, maybe not, maybe so. All right, 60. Seventy. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the list, you guys, and then let's just finish this up for now um, with seeing if they got any newer stuff out there. So I did see a, like a Dodge Charger RT and stuff like that. So let's just see what we can get ourselves into before we get up out of here. Okay, let's see what else they got out here, y'all. Dun, dun, dun. Cadillac. Is this the XT? Yeah, it's got to be the XTS right here. It's the 18. I did a review on this one before, y'all, but I'm going to show... Oh, CT6. What the heck? Yeah, I've done a review on one of these, too. In my reviewing days. But my reviews suck, y'all. I ain't going to lie to you. In my opinion. Some people like this. A lot of people didn't. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Of course, you know, they, they got to have the 3.6 in them like they always do. I like the dash, though. I really can't really remember this car, y'all. I probably was moving a lot really fast. I just got the double sunroof. That's what's up. This looks way better than my uh, XTS, like the interior and all that stuff. Uh, I like it. For sure. We ain't going to drive it, though. I just feel like I'm driving my own car. Same size rims, all that stuff. I think it's the same exact rims, actually, that's on my XTS. But I like it. I'll put some Vogues on it, though. That's tires, if y'all don't know, with the rubber band. Well, y'all, pretty much there's no cars out that are worth even looking at, man. So I'm going to go ahead and end. Oh, yeah, just so y'all know, so y'all know I ain't skip past y'all. These are all small dealers. I checked it out. Um, so no point in me checking them out. But, yeah, man, it's no point in continuing this video. Y'all just make sure y'all catch me on the next one. If you liked anything that you saw, um, if you want to see an actual um, longer auction walk around video, then check out throughout the week. Um, I always go out to Mannheim and then I drive a lot of cars out there. Way more cars than what's out here because they actually got their ish together. So um, I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, I'm out. Peace.